Hello, in this video I'm going to showcase you a team for the Great Lee Remix that got me very, very close to Legend. I'm about 50 points off right now. This is the team that I'm using, Giratina Origin, Tapu Fini, and Registeel 3. Legendary Pokemon might not be the most accessible, but IVs are usually not super important on these Pokemon. Giratina is an extremely good core breaker for Pokemon like Deoxys and Registeel, especially with Lickitung and Vigorot out of the way. There are way less counters. It's still Umbreon and Mandibus though, they're a little bit difficult. But I found Giratina pretty good, especially when the other oppressive dragons are usually like Dragonair and Gudra. And Giratina actually has very good play there in the Zero Shields. I usually use Tapu Fini as a safe switch, but when I lead into like a Dragonite, there's usually a Venusaur in the back. That's like the only real counter and also superior to, to the Tapu Fini. So you often might want to safe switch Registeel, but somehow Gligar is still allowed in this cup. So Registeel is also not super safe. You basically always want to see if you can set up something for farm down for Giratina because Ghost Typing is so good in this meta. Let's take a look at game number one. Going into game number one, Giratina into Clefable. This is not that bad of a lead actually, considering how slow Clefable paces, but I go out. Anyway, I'm gonna go into Tapu Fini, which has an okay matchup here. I expect him to have like um, a better answer into Tapu Fini, so I'm just gonna let that go. And that's the worst decision of my life because they have a Polarat in the back. If you recognize this trainer, there are basically two people that really like to use Chandler. Well, I haven't used this much in a while. Um, that's me, and the other one's J Mills. That is the other player here. So it might be a Chandler in the back. That's why they maybe hesitated to swap here. Um, I, I really want to get Nature's Madness off here, but after an Ice Wind debuff, um, it would not have knocked out and it would have no shielded. Giratina with a shield up is pretty good into Clefable because Fairy Wind as a fast attack doesn't do as much damage. This Ice Wind also does less than a Moonblast, so I'd no shield that. Then go for the Shadow Ball right before his next Icy Wind. And now I have Reg Steel with a shield up, which is pretty good into most teams. Quagsire usually has Aqua Tail Stone Edge, so Reg Steel doesn't do that bad there either. I'm expecting something like that. Gonna store the Shadow Ball in the back is Alolan Marowak. This is a very bad matchup for Reg Steel, but it's not as bad as it used to be. Alolan Marek used to win the 0-2 shoot here when Registeel didn't have Zap Cannon. But now with Zap Cannon, it's not that good for Alolan Marowak anymore. Look at how much this does. The next one will knock out. No debuff, unfortunately. Kind of is very unfortunate because now the next attack will knock out. He's counting my attacks very well. Gonna go for a shield here because I want to get his last shield. But this may not have been my best play because perhaps he lets this go and farms down with the Clefable. He actually does end up shielding that, which I think is somewhat of a misplay on his side. My timer's up, gonna snipe with the Ominous Wind. Now the energy on this Alolan Marek is all gone, and he needs to get to two attacks on Clefable, which he's never gonna do, so he's gonna try to farm me down. But since Fairy Wing, again, doesn't do that much as a super effective uh, attack, I get to the Shadow Ball here, and this will knock out the Clefable as Shadow Ball is just so good on Giratina. GG. Game number two, I lead Giratina to Gallade, perfect lead, averages everything. They go into Steelix, and this is so beautiful. This is just beautiful. But Steelix is a deceiving Pokemon. Um, yes, I double resist Dragon Tail and my Water Guns are super effective. But look, you're going to see how this matchup is going to go. Obviously, it's very good for Tapu Fini, don't get me wrong. Um, but I just don't use a lot of shields here. I'm counting until an Earthquake here. Um, if they throw Psychic Fang, they will not knock out. Crunch won't knock out. They actually use a shield here. Throw right before my next Surf. I know shield because it's not an Earthquake. It's a Heavy Slam! And I actually hang on by 1 HP there. Very fortunate. Gonna go for another Surf. If they want Switch, they have to shield this as well. But I doubt that it has to be like a Dark type in the back if they really want to beat my Giratina. Um, or a norm normal type. In comes Gallade again. I'm fine with that. I think they want to draw back in my Giratina, but I'm not gonna do that. Shadow Gallade is so fragile. This Zap can almost takes it out on one attack. This, I'm pretty sure, is a Leaf Blade. Psycho Cut charges very fast, but not that fast. So I know shield that. Let's see what comes in. I'm actually going to be a little bit weak to Red Steel in the back. Maybe it's like a fighter double steel line. Their own Red Steel, perhaps, but then Giratina just feasts. Gonna farm up a lot of energy here. I think at this point I might even lock on down. Psychic Fang still not doing a lot. Gonna go into Giratina. Let's see what's in the back. I have 100 energy stored on Red Steel. I can't lose this. In the back, Scarbank. That's so game over. GG. Game number three. This is against a Japanese player. The Japanese usually run very similar teams, so I ran into this a couple times. Um, this is where Red Steel's safe switch is much better. I, um, I figured out later. The third Pokemon they usually have differs. Um, I've seen Dragonite Venusaur core about four times now. I lost all of those. Um, a couple of them were winnable. This is this is definitely not, a, not of the winnable one. I just want to show you how this goes, though, and why you should safe switch Registeel. Um, because here, 
top of Fini does drop the defense of that Venusaur. It would have been lovely to have Ice Beam there, but I didn't have that. Um, but Giratina doesn't really hang well with these Frenzy plants. 2 plus Vinewood will almost knock out, and Venusaur will always get 2 here. So that's kind of obnoxious. If I no shield this, I'm counting on Registeel to sweep. And I'm not too sure about that, because Dragonite can pull 2 shields from me. So I'm hoping to get like a farm down later, and then knock out Dragonite with 1 Shadow Ball. Can I go for the Omnis Wind Bait here? They're weak to Giratina on the back, they will shield this, which they do. Now go back in Registeel, and this is yeah. This is this is not a very winnable game. And the problem is, if I say switch Registeel here, they can also get a lot of energy, debuff my my Giratina, and Top of Venus would still be on Venusaur. So I'm not too sure if that was the play, but maybe... Um, I've also seen this team with like Quagsire, and I think then if I can get like a shield advantage with Registeel, maybe a farm down with Top of Fini, I think then it might be more winnable. Um, I actually should have no shield at this. Maybe then there was play if I lift the Icy Wind barely, but also not really. I need to get there. I don't, I don't know what I could do there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I could do. I need to lift that, get to the Zap Cannon. I'm trying to get a Slick on the charge there. It's definitely not enough. The, the Dragonite will come in, timers up, and just Dragonite will be down. Game number four, Giratina into Tapu Fini. This is a fairy type Pokemon, but Giratina has a really good matchup here when shields are up. So my opponent swaps into Shadow Sableye, which is tough. I lose the two shield scenario here, but that's okay. If I can get shields down, I can Zap Cannon that, uh, that Pokemon of theirs, Tapu Fini. So I'm very fine there. Tapu Fini generally feints to like a couple lock on plus a Zap Cannon. I'm making a slight mistake here. I should have gone for Nature's Madness right away if I wasn't going to use shields here anyway. Um, in fact, I think I can want to gun down in two shoots if I really wanted to keep switch. But if I do that, um, you will see that I would have lost the game. So let's see. Unfortunately, I can't lock on that down, so I'm gonna shadow claw it down. I am barely able to because they were dry on energy after two power jam. And then let's see what comes in. In the back is their own Giratina. It's Tapufini double ghost. I love this team, uh, and I love the energy here. If I had sh if shields were down, this Giratina would have swept me. So. Good thing I didn't do that. We get charge tech purity on this ominous wind. My Giratina is like, um, it. you would say it's not a good uh, Giratina, but it's actually like the perfect stats to get break and bulk points. So it um, doesn't have a lot of HP though. Ominous wind goes through. He gets the boost. This makes it way more threatening. Giratina has a pretty high stat. Uh, so it's difficult to lock on down. But that's not my <laughs> concern right now. The concern is that he's double boosts here. That is... Incredible. So I need to get rid of this right away. I'm going to go for the Panic fo Focus Blast. I don't want him to catch anything. So I throw right away there. And then Top of Fiend comes in. Now I should be safe. That double boosted Giratina was very scary. Generally, Pokemon with higher HP do better into Registeel. Because Lock-On always does one damage. Except when you're like a Deoxys attack. Um, and then the higher HP you have, the longer it takes to Lock-On down. Which means that Pokemon like Guzzlord and Wigglytuff. Well, Guzzlord gets taken down in one uh, focus plus most of the time but like really tough you cannot lock one down after one zap cannon because it's such high hp game number five giratina into empoleon this is actually a uh, very neutral lead they go into quagsire which i'm very fine with they need seven much for the first stone edge so i go for the shadow ball here i don't really have a direct answer here but if i can get shields down again my pokemon will take out my registry will take out that empoleon in one attack obviously top of doesn't do great into that empoleon so i don't want that alignment they go for the stone edge there I will get charge security on the next attack here. At this range, Shadow Ball will knock out this Quagsire. So my Giratina has a lot of health still. They bring in Mandibus. They don't even wait the clock, which is a mistake. This may also not have been the most clever play on my side. Uh, but I have two Mandibus counts, right? I don't want to stay in there. So maybe the better play was to go in Registeel. And they'd be forced to go in Empoleon there maybe as well. But if they would stay in the Mandibus, maybe they would still get kind of icky. Because Empoleon is actually pretty neutral into Giratina, especially when shields are up. Because the Steel Wings add up and drill back. Uh, hits pretty hard from Empoleon because it's so attack weighted. It's going to go for the next Nature Madness. This will almost knock out the Empoleon if no shield. It is shielded though. And now I'm just going to take all the energy on my Giratina, which is still super healthy. Can take at least one drill back. So I just need to get rid of this. If I didn't get denied there, which is a great inconsistency... I would not have shielded and just lock on down. Now I have to shield because this Empoleon is a little too healthy for my liking. So, gonna shield that up. Get the farm down. Because after two Nature's Madness, that, that did just... The Shadow Claws just did so much. And then they see the Reg, they get out. Game 6, Giratina into the Oxus defense. A perfect lead. They go into a Dragon. Now this is probably the worst safe switch you can face with my team. Because Tapafini doesn't do great into this. Uh, nor does Registeel. I think Top of Fini actually does a little bit better because in two shields the serve will just probably knock out while 
uh, the double resistant dragon red pills body slam might not but this reddish too has like no fast attack pressure so i need the debuff here and i don't get it so that's kind of rough that's very tough um uh, why i i did some a couple shadow claws at first before uh, swapping out into Registeel, because if it's Gudra, I need a couple Shadow Claws before a Focus Plus will knock them out. And then Gudra isn't as attack weighted as Dragonair, so the matchup is just a little bit uh, better. But they they flip switch here, and then it comes down to what's in the back. It can be really anything. I expect Double Dragon, and in that case, I'm pretty much fine here. So I'm going to go into Giratina. The reason why is because Giratina, again, doesn't do super bad into Dragons when shields are down. Uh, I guess most dragons at least, because I resist all their charge attacks. I'm gonna go for the Omnis Wind. I just need to get rid of this dragon there, man. It's taking down my entire team. Uh, and hopefully Top Fini with a shield advantage. If it is another dragon in the back, I should be fine here. So let's see. The Oxus comes in. Just need to shield a Thunderbolt. I think the best way to deal with this is to go with Double Surf. And uh, I need to O-Farm a little bit if it's like a Gudra or something, right? If, it, if it's Gudra, it has Thunder Punch. So I need to be O-Farm just a little bit to base to my Nature's Madness. Um, by like 10 energy, which is actually quite a little bit. Thunderbolt, I shield that correctly. They go for a Psycho Boost, which will not help them if it's Gudra on the back. Psycho Boost put me into the red though, in the back is Carving. That's unfortunate because two of these Surf are not going to be enough. And I don't have HP on my gear team anymore. I need a Switch Advantage, but I don't know how I was going to do this. Maybe if, I, if you see a Deoxys League with this team, just assume there might be a Carving in the back. Maybe you have to bring Tapu Fini into into uh, the dragon stage switch i don't know tough game number seven we have giratina into jellicent a tremendous lead you win this if you want to force it let's see my opponent is also staying in this makes me think there's something like a register in the back and i did see prior to this game a jellicent lead with register in the back in which i swapped in register and then top left it if you want to force switch here straight on this wind good timing and you win this matchup uh, they could this the ones could be very annoying though because if they serve they now need uh we get charge attack purity tie on this next attack here. This ominous wind might barely knock out. Don't think it does though, but they shield anyway. And now we should get charge attack purity, uh, or I should have paced by one actually to the next attack. So they surf again, doesn't matter. I'm gonna go for another ominous wind here that will knock out. So I will preserve my uh, Giratina actually went one over there. Um, so yeah, you do have pace, just straight ominous wind. Matchup is very good for Giratina. They come in with the Alolan Knight. They want switch advantage, of course, because they have a Charmer. In the back is a Registeel. This is not over yet, but I have some energy on my Giratina, so maybe I'm okay. I'm gonna go at the uh, throat at the very end. So hopefully my opponent is like thrown off by my energy, and I can get to another one. That'd be great. But like a Shadow Ball plus Shadow Claw will knock out here anyway. And then I have my Registeel on that Alolan Knight tail, so I should be very very fine here. Zep kind of knocks me out. It's okay. Giratina still has plenty health to get to an attack. If they outpace me, though, it's scary. That's kind of what I was afraid of here. But the Red Steel, if it has Focus Plus Zap Cannon, will always need five seconds at least. Five and a half seconds to, or five seconds at least, if it goes Focus Plus before, to get to a charge attack. And it went Zap Cannon, so it needs five and a half. Um, and because I was five shit claws away, I was always going to outpace. Game number eight, what do we think of this lead? This is tremendous. Um, not for my backline, though, so I'm very happy to see this. They stay in. Uh, that indicates that they're kind of weak to this, maybe. So they go for the Wild Charge, which does a lot still. It's resisted, but still puts me quite low. In the back is a Gudra. I'm going to uh, throw the Shadow Ball here. If they shield, I'll go Red Steel. If they no shield, I will go in Tapu Fini. Um, I can take a Thunder Punch quite comfortably, because and it does way less than a Wild Charge. So I'm very fine with this. Um, Thunder Punch doesn't even put me in. It actually barely puts me into the yellow, but I can get that sweet, sweet farm down. And then Magnus Zone is so fragile. Already took quite some Shadow Claws. It's... Uh, it's going to have to shield these servants once to get that farm down. I'm expecting double dragon or something in the back here. Or at least, like, each... definitely My opponent definitely tries to bail out the fairy, right? So let's see. They go for the farm down, like every Magnezone user does. Magnezone energy is just so tedious to deal with. Surf, and then they farm me down, which is unfortunate. I'm going to go into Giratina again. And at this point, I'm like, if I shield once, I have to shield twice. So I'm going to let this go. It is the mirror shield. If that debuff mean it would have been annoying. In the back is Shadow Polyrath. They swap it in immediately. This is very much game over. I expect them to go for the Ice Wind there, but they didn't. Like, if they threw Ice Wind, maybe they would have barely hung on to this. But this definitely will knock them out now. And I have two shields for the max zone. I just get a lock on down here. Even though resisted, doesn't matter. Uh, they throw some attacks. Like, even if you lock on down, you can't debuff one damage <laughs> to zero damage. So, doesn't matter. Good game. Game number nine. Giratina into Karbik. This battle I remember very clearly. I'm going to go into my. Uh, Tapu Fini, and they answer with Shadow Sableye. We've seen this kind of lineup before, and I make the same mistake again. I try to go for the cheaper charge stack here, 
and I should go for uh, Nature Madness to get the farm down if I want to flip this. Again, flipping it, I don't know if that's going to do it for me, though. going to go for another Surf here. I draw two shields at this point from this Sableye. I am not in a bad spot. I'm not. I'm not in a bad spot. I have two shields on my Giratina. The thing is, I'm going to have to use both those shields as well. Because this Sableye is going to get to two charge attacks. I would have a lot of HP, but that carving just gets to a Moonblast. So I'm not exactly that great in a spot as I thought I would be. Um... I'm going to let the foul play go. That actually does more than I thought. I'm hoping to get one more Shadow Clone so I can lock him down. That would have been very important because now this Sableye will get to another two foul play. Sableye is just uh, knocking down my entire team here. But we're running into the same problem that we had with the other match that we did win when it was a Tapofini lead. Uh, they have Giratina Orgy in the back. So if I get shields down and they get a head start on energy, I lose. I will lose the game. So I can't really do that. If I do that, then they shut up all my Giratina and it's still over. Because my Red Steel is not exactly dealing with their Giratina. At this point in the battle, of course, I didn't know it yet. So I'm going to hope it's something I can take out with one, maybe two charge attacks if I can get there. Um, they go for the Moonblast. I'm just going to go for the Lock on Down. Carbing has very high defense, but not that high HP. So I can Lock on Down, actually. The Lock on's just do one damage. Sableye. Still has, uh, or is very close to an attack. So I can't use shields exactly. I need something without fast stack pressure, man. But it's Giratina. And two Zap kind of won't be enough to knock out here. So that's uh, very much game over. Um, yeah, that's the second time we face double goes. It's pretty, it's getting pretty popular. And then the final game that we have, Giratina into Quagsire. This is a, what I consider to be a very good lead for me. Because Quagsire, uh, the Stone Edge will hardly, put, like, barely put me into half damage. And then... Because it's regular Quagsire, an Aqua 2 after won't knock me out yet. I'm going to shoot the first one because that's where they rarely bait. And then go for a Shadow Ball. The Shadow Ball won't knock out yet from this range. But we'll put them extremely low. As you can see, right into the red there. And because I let that go, my Ominous Wind is one attack cheaper. Uh, we get the Charge Security tie on this Ominous Wind. So they want to uh, get an attack off. They have to shoot there. They go into Shadow Charizard, which is actually incredibly scary. I tried to go for the Ominous Wind, but my opponent's counting very well. So we expected the 2950s, and uh, that will knock me out. But I just want to keep alignment here. Hopefully there's something in the back that I can take on now. Uh, Puffini comes in. In the back is Manti. No, it's Pelipper. And I know this matchup as a uh, Pelipper user. This is not that bad for Pelipper with a shoot-up. Um, this comes a bit down to getting the debuff out of Red Steel. If you don't get the debuffs, the Pelipper is just going to outspam you with the Weather Ball here. They obviously shield the first attack here. And they don't get the debuff. So makes this matchup far from over. I have to keep in mind though, Tapafini is at full health. And that Charizard only has a Dragon Claw. So the Charizard cannot like uh, swap in and throw a Blasman into my Registeel. Gonna go for another attack here. I'm just keeping the shield for Tapafini at this point. Hopefully the lock on damage will put this Pelipper low enough that I can manage madness it. They clear the debuff, go into Charizard. I'm gonna take this Blast Burn because otherwise I have to take a Hurricane. Which will, do, which will actually probably just knock me out. Last burn takes me very low at this point, though. Weather Ball is almost going to knock me out. I'm going to go... Oh, man. Am I able to get to the Nature's Madness? I kind of need that here. <sighs> maybe not. Maybe not. I need to knock out with a Zapcan anyway, so maybe it doesn't matter as much. going to go for the Nature's Madness. Hoping it does do enough that I can lock on down. It's not going to be just yet. Don't get the Water Gun in. And, man, how much energy do they have? They just threw a Weather Ball, right? But, like I said, Pelipper just outspams you with attacks. It gets to them so quickly. Here's another one. Do I take this? I think I, I barely take this. Barely? Can I get there? And I'm lucky because I get the damage registration error, which means that the damage from their wing attack didn't register when it should have. And because of that, I get the focus plus off. So very lucky there, and I win that battle. So yeah, very close to Legend. I'm going to switch it up a little bit, though, because I feel like the meta is adapting very quickly. Um, I hope you liked the video, and I'll see you next one. Bye.